What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm getting some much needed cleaning done in my apartment. I'm really gonna be focusing on tidying up the place. It really wasn't a hot mess, just your everyday cleaning motivation. Also, later on in the video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a new dresser that I picked up that I can put in the corner in the dining area. And I'm really just going to make it a makeshift like pantry. So I'm super excited to share that with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you do, subscribe if you're new and let's jump right into the video I'm starting off in the living and dining room area. I'm sweeping the floors because I'm prepping it to steam mop the floors. You guys have seen this steam mop before, but I'm going in with the Bissell Power Fresh Deluxe Steam Mop. Honestly, in my opinion, I've been using it for a little while now, and I'm not blown away by this. I guess maybe I'm expecting more from it, but I'm not blown away. But it does come with this disc that you can put in, as you guys can see me do right here. And it's supposed to give that like spring cleaning kind of like freshness to your home, but I don't smell a thing. So I think the next time I use this, I'm actually gonna put some essential oils on the pad and I hope that that will give me that freshness that I'm looking for
it's another day and I made another run to Ikea and I picked up this dresser because I thought that this would be the perfect fit in that corner in the dining area I saw a couple things on Amazon but like it wasn't anything that I really fell in love with so I decided to go with this dresser it was only $99 so you really can't beat the price and I figured this would be the perfect alternative to a pantry since I do not have one and it should also help me with storing all of my food. Moving on over to the kitchen, I had washed some dishes earlier on in the day, so I'm just drying them and putting them away. I'm also going to be trying this air fryer cleaning hack that I saw on TikTok, and I will just say it didn't turn out the way I thought it would.
While those dishes dry, I'm gonna head over to my air fryer and try this cleaning hack out. So as you guys can see, it is so greasy and I definitely need to get this thing cleaned. I haven't cleaned it since I've used it. So the first thing that they say to do is to use any type of dish soap Put that down at the bottom and it also then make sure to spray the actual like i guess like grate or whatever you want to call it you want to spray that and then you want to fill it up with water just until it's over and covers like the grate area pop that in the air fryer at any temperature they say because i've watched a couple of these videos but the one in particular that i saw she put it on for 370 for three minutes so let's test this out and see if this is going to make cleaning a whole lot easier Now look at all that grease. I was so shocked. And from the looks of it, it looks like it's clean. So I poured all of the water out. It was a bit hot, but I still saw there was a bunch of grease still stuck in it. So I figured, let me try this again. I'm going to literally do the same exact thing and pop it in for another three minutes. Life goes up and it goes down I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around So little And we keep track of time Being so serious Idiots Thinking it will matter Keep me company downtown Before the clock runs out you can still see that there is some grease there and I feel like there is some, still some on the racket thing. So to me, this hack did not work, but let me know if you guys have tried this before and you know, maybe I didn't make it hot enough, but, or long enough or anything like that. But everybody on TikTok is saying it doesn't matter what temperature you put it at and to put it for three minutes. And that's what I did. And as you guys can see, I did it twice and I still see some like kind of grease and stuff like that at the bottom. So I'm going to let this sit for a little and then I'll come back and um, scrub it. Heading back to the bedroom, I have a couple of loads of laundry that I have literally been slacking on. I just let it pile up and honestly sometimes it happens so i knew i needed to tackle this today so i'm folding all of the laundry while i chit chat with my sister Steady, come. 
You guys ever put a chore off knowing that you're going to regret it later but you still do it anyway Heading on over to Riley's room again I'm doing just a quick tidy up and the night before she decided that she wanted to have crackers in the bed I don't know about you guys but my toddler always seems to be hungry right before it's time for bed so we usually do give her a little bit of a snack and some water but she left a whole bunch of crumbs in the bed so I wanted to just quickly vacuum that up because I am going to actually be washing all of the sheets the next day so it really made no sense to kind of go all out so I'm just gonna quickly vacuum them up and then finish tidying up her room <laughs> 